Good morning, everyone. So today I actually woke up a little bit late, and so I have to hurry up and get ready for what I need to do today. Today I'm actually teaching, so I thought this would be an opportune moment to talk about the big question on how to TA. So if you're interested in learning more about being a TA or what is kind of like a basic approach to TA, then this video, this vlog is for you. So I'm logging into my computer right now and I think the most important thing and the first thing you have to think about if you're going to be a TA is actually lesson planning and setting up your day. Now some people do this like for the entire semester or quarter. I'm more of a loosey goosey, wing it as I go type chick. And so I do it every morning um, before my class, but you totally do not have to do it that way. Again, you can do the whole semester. You can do it the week before, or like the Monday before, the Friday before your class. It's really about you and what you want. But again, I like to do things fast and while I'm out of control. And so um, I give myself a couple of hours before class to decide what I'm gonna talk about in class. So the first thing that I usually do is look at my syllabus and then once I get a good idea of what the focus of the day is, what I want them to get out of it, then I head over and start doing some slides. So the first thing I do is actually open up my syllabus to see what the kind of agenda or focus of the week is or the day. Today we're talking about what is gender, sex, and sexuality. They have an assigned reading that's in the syllabus. So I know that now when I do my slides, I need to consider this major question. And then I also want to make sure I'm pulling from the main readings. So that's kind of how I approach lesson planning. And it does really help if... If you are someone who tries to make your lesson plans as engaging as possible so I like to imagine my classes less as a lecture and more as a workshop where there are activities moments of reflection moments of activity and things like that to really help them feel engaged now if you're somebody who wants to write their own syllabus but has no idea how I will have my syllabus template in the description box below and you can go ahead and get that and use that and it'll look literally almost exactly like this because I use this template to make the syllabus. But okay, I'm going to start working on my slides. Okay, so I finished my slides. I'm about to finish getting ready to go. I'm actually really excited about this. There's some videos that we're gonna do some visual analysis on to talk about how gendered um, stereotypes or expectations or roles are enforced at a very young age. And then toys are an example that we'll use, commercials and link that into capitalism. Then we will talk about their final assignment. And then we have a video that I'm really excited to share. Nope, not that one. Where is it? Which is the Mickey Mouse Monopoly. And it talks about childhood um, development through media, through Disney. And it's really a good video because we just finished talking uh, about race and identity and the constructions of racial stereotypes. Now we're transitioning into uh, gendered and the intersection between gender and race and this video does a really good job of showing the differences between those um, and also the similarities between those forms of representation and even though it's through only one media company it talks about how that one media company which is the Disney company just has an 
unimaginable amount of power to influence people, not just children. Um, but of course, the, this one does particularly focus on children. But yes, okay, I'm gonna go finish getting dressed. Maybe I should eat something. We'll see if I actually do it. And then um, we'll head to UCLA. the other thing that you would do if you're wondering how to TA is try to arrive a little bit early I usually get there around 20 to 15 minutes early so I can set up the classroom set up all your technology organize the classroom if you have the tech like activities you can set those up in advance and just make sure you're prepared and settled before class starts I also really like to set up the vibes for my classroom when you're thinking about setting it up. So I usually go to YouTube, put on some like Tuesday jazz or like slow jazz type stuff. Just so everybody can come and feel very relaxed and welcome. Okay, so class is over. I'm going to clean up my space and then I actually need to head to the library and pick up a book and see if they have another book that I need. Um, I'm writing a section in my dissertation about the history of museums and wouldn't you know it, I don't have that memorized so I need to pick up some books. But um, yeah, overall good class. I think also to make sure that you usually leave time for some type of discussion in every TA class. Today, we did it in an opposite direction. So I started off the class with information, did a brief discussion, and then we watched the film. 
Um, but I do think it's important to make sure your students are engaged. So if you are a TA, if it's your first time TAing and you're feeling really nervous about filling up the whole 50 minutes or hour, hour and a half, remember that encouraging your students to talk, giving them opportunities to write down their thoughts during certain moments, um, really incorporating their um, critical thinking skills in class is a great way to keep them engaged, but also to help you figure out if your students understand what's going on or not. And I can make a whole video about lesson planning and um, activities that you can do to help students if you feel like you have a really quiet class or really shy students. But generally, that's kind of how I run it. Okay, I gotta get out of this classroom before somebody walks in. Beautiful day here today. the last day to pick it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, it should be on the shelf by the last day. Okay. Um, if you can't find it, just let me know. If you can find it, I can check it out. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, one of the books that I wanted wasn't actually at this library, it was at another one, so I'm walking to the Arts Library, which is much smaller than Powell. I've actually never been inside of Powell, I don't know what it looks like, and I don't feel like figuring it out in my fifth year. So instead I'm going to the Arts Library where I know this book is, and then I'm going to try to check it out, and then I will then head back to the house. Oddly enough, the art library is in the public affairs building, but well, that's where I'm headed. I was today years old when I found out that the library had five floors. Okay, so got all my books. Can you look how, look, do you see how many books I have? You think I like to read or something. Is that a beautiful day outside today? It's kind of like overcast and cool and gloomy. Um, I'm actually on my way back to get ready to go home, but it was just so pretty today on campus. I mean, look at how calm it is right now. It's like very, very chill. Anyway. I will see y'all soon. Okay, so I was going to write, but instead, Eric and I came to this food truck and we're gonna get something to eat and enjoy our night. 
I do want to say one more thing about if you're wondering how to TA, one of the most important things is to make sure you are doing time management. Now, after a while, you may be able to wing it and kind of imagine or like think about the timing. But if you're first starting out, especially if you're nervous and you've never taught before, it's important to try to write out the timing or the pacing of your class and to schedule in a whole lot of like leeway room extra time because things just run over all the time so if you have something that's supposed to be five minutes make it eight minutes if you have something that's supposed to be 10 minutes make it 15 that way you never feel pressured to rush your students or your your information or your lecture now if you want to know more about how to teach or what a week in the life of a ta is like especially if you're teaching online you should watch this video next i want to thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week.